Operating systems are the most important software installed on computers. Everything you do on a computer happens inside the operating system, so an unstable or difficult to navigate operating system can affect your whole experience. In the past, several operating systems have been criticized for performance problems, bugs and usability issues, and have been widely considered failures. Due to these issues, they were unpopular with users, and many users consider them the worst operating systems. In this video, we will explore eight of the biggest operating system failures. Windows Me was released back in September 2000 and marketed as Windows Millennium Edition. It was released at around the same time as Windows 2000, but it was targeted at home users instead of business users and did not support the advanced features that Windows 2000 offered. It's widely viewed as one of the most unsuccessful versions of Windows due to its frequent crashes, unresponsive applications, and issues with basic functionality like the system restore feature. Many users experience problems with existing hardware drivers and software, especially those relying on DOS, which were not fully supported in Windows Me. As a result, Microsoft released Windows XP just over a year after the release of Windows Me to address many of the stability and performance issues. Windows Vista was released in January 2007, five years after the release of Windows XP. It's one of the most complained about Windows versions due to compatibility issues and high system requirements. Although Windows Vista brought several improvements over Windows XP, like the Aero theme and enhanced security features, like user account control, many users found that their older hardware and software were not compatible with Windows Vista, requiring them to upgrade or stay on Windows XP. Windows Vista also had much higher system requirements than Windows XP. This meant that many users, especially those with older or less powerful computers, experienced performance issues and slow boot times. It also took up much more space due to more pre-installed programs and the addition of unwanted new features to the existing programs. Eventually, Microsoft moved on to Windows 7, which addressed the issues in Windows Vista and had fewer system interruptions and better performance. Microsoft introduced Windows 8 in October 2012 to cater to the requirements of multiple devices, including desktop computers, laptops, tablets and phones, but it did not achieve its objective. While it was suitable for touchscreen devices, like tablets, it was not well suited for desktop use, which relied on mouse and keyboard input. Many users found it confusing and difficult to navigate on a desktop computer, which led to low adoption rates compared to previous versions of Windows. When Windows 8 was first released, the Start button was removed from the taskbar, which had been a feature since Windows 95. The only way to open the Start menu was to press the Windows key on the keyboard, which is not user-friendly. It also displayed the Start menu instead of the main desktop screen after logging in, which was seen as a forced adoption of a user interface more suited for tablets onto desktop and laptop computers. Microsoft released Windows 8.1 about a year later, which brought back the Start button on the taskbar, displayed the main desktop screen after logging in, and offered better customization options. But it still kept the tile-based Start screen, which was difficult to navigate on desktop and laptop computers. Windows Phone has been around since 2010, and many versions have been released, but it has not been widely used due to its lack of app support and developer engagement. It has been criticized due to its lack of customization options and the limited number of apps available, compared to Android and iOS. Another issue was the variety of Windows Phone devices, requiring developers to create multiple versions of their apps for different hardware. Many users found Windows Phone impractical compared to other mobile operating systems, so its market share remained very small compared to iOS and Android. In 2017, Microsoft announced that it would no longer sell or manufacture Windows Phone devices, and the operating system reached its end of support on 14 January 2020, so Microsoft no longer provides security updates or any other support for Windows Phone devices. MS-DOS 4.0 was officially released in July 1988 as a major update to MS-DOS, a command-line operating system developed by Microsoft and widely used in the 1980s and early 1990s. It was not popular because it required much more memory than previous versions, impacting system performance on older hardware. Many popular disk utilities and software packages became incompatible with DOS 4.0 because it supported larger disks with 32-bit sector addressing, requiring a new disk format. It also suffered from a bad reputation, which stemmed from a promise of new multitasking features that were not introduced. Coral Linux was introduced as a desktop alternative to Windows in November 1999. It was designed to closely resemble Microsoft's Windows Explorer, particularly the versions found in Windows 98 
and Windows 2000. This meant that Cora Linux offered a familiar interface for users, moving from Windows to a Linux environment. However, it was criticized for lacking widely used applications and having a smaller library of games compared to Windows. Many users saw it as less user-friendly than Windows, and it failed to compete with Windows. Symbian OS was the most popular mobile operating system in 2007, with over 65% market share. However, it quickly lost market share to newer platforms like iOS and Android in 2008, and the company eventually discontinued the platform. Symbian OS failed due to several reasons, including its lack of effective support for touchscreen and gesture-based interfaces, and its user interface being seen as cluttered and difficult to navigate compared to the more modern interfaces of iOS and Android. It was also difficult for developers to create apps that worked across all devices, as different manufacturers used their own versions of Symbian. Lindos, a Linux operating system designed to run Windows apps, is one of the least successful operating systems released in 2001. It aimed to be an alternative to Windows, but most users found it too different from Windows and less user-friendly, so it failed to compete. Microsoft sued the company, claiming the name Lindos was too similar to Windows, which was eventually settled with Lindos changing its name to Linspire and transferring the Lindos trademark to Microsoft in 2004. Also, Lindos was seen as a copy of Windows, making it difficult for users to see it as a reliable alternative. Linspire continued to be developed and released as an independent Linux-based operating system. If this video was useful for you, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to receive notifications whenever new content is posted, you can click on the bell icon after subscribing.